everybody. So it's definitely been a while. I think the last time I made a video was probably September or so, which is embarrassing. But if you keep in mind that I'm in grad school and that this is my last semester, that might help you with your angry feelings towards me at this particular point in time. And so we begin another video about books and life updates and stuff. Seems like that's all I do anymore because that's all I have time to do anymore. Um, first, let's talk about books. So, I've been reading a couple of things. Uh, most significantly, I just... <laughs> most significantly, I just finished the Dark Tower series, all seven of them. And... Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I liked it a lot. This one was way better than five and six. I did not enjoy those. This one was very good, and I thought the ending was perfect. And... If you haven't picked this up before, if you haven't read this whole series, you really should because it's quite good. I like how most people who do book videos hold the book up the whole time that we slash they are talking. Like, hey, talk about a book. Don't forget, I'm talking about a book here. So I've also picked up a couple of books and I'll show you the most neutral book first. This was a present from my cousin. This is City on Fire by... Ugh. Garth Risk Halberd. Is that even a real name? Probably not. Um, it says a novel and it's very heavy, so that's exciting. I don't know anything about this other than that there is some sort of publishing war over it. I don't know. So that's next on my reading list. But first I'm going to show you something and you're not going to like it. Or maybe you will like it. I actually don't know. Okay, you ready? That's right, folks. Dead House Gates. I'm reading it. I'm currently reading it. See? That's how far. So, for those of you who don't know, um, this is the second book in the Malazan Book of the Fallen series. Um, many people on the internet have gotten very angry at me for not liking the first one. And I still don't like the first one. I'm still not a big fan of this one, but I'm going to persevere because I always need a good fantasy series running in my life and I just finished the Dark Tower series. So there you go. See, I'm doing the thing where I hold the book up. This does nothing for you, really. Just a weird visual aid. Is this aiding your visuals right now? I hope so. So now we move on to the life update section of the video where we talk about what's going on with me. Like I already told you, um, I'm in my last semester of grad school. I'm finishing up my master's. So I'm writing my thesis, which is about a 100 page document of words about stuff. So that's what happens right there. Wait, there we go. Good pointing, excellent pointing. That's going well. And I presented to my committee my general topic outline already and that went, I think, decently well. They didn't, you know, crucify me, which is good, uh, yet. So I still have to defend the thesis. Getting anxious just thinking about it. Okay, moving on. Just a brief interlude. If anybody knows what this is, you get major points. Let me know in the comments. Um, last segment of the video for now is my brother is an artist. <laughs> so my brother is a musician. He writes his own songs and lyrics and all that. I'm sure many of us know people who do that. However, my brother is legitimately talented and I'm going to insert a clip of his music here. <laughs> brilliant so he's releasing his EP either today or tomorrow I'm gonna to put a link in the description to where you can access that music and I'll talk to him and see if uh, you know you can listen to like the full song I don't know how all that stuff works you know before buying it but it's really good stuff if you like Tame Impala or MGMT or that sort of sound you're really gonna like this or the strokes duh strokes are probably his biggest inspiration so there you go. Go check him out. He's a very talented little dude, even though he's almost a foot taller than me now. He's my little brother, so he's always, you know, smaller than me in my mind. And I must admit that there is one more thing that I need to share with you. So Gatsby has a new friend. I will be right back. We got a cat. There we go. There we go. So this is Furiosa. She is a cat 
I have no idea what breed this cat is. I mean, she's a tortoiseshell, which means that she is asymmetrical in the fur pattern department, but look at how cute she is. And yes, she was named after Charlize Theron's character in Mad Max Fury Road because Furiosa is one of the coolest characters of all time. Fix this bit of hair. And that cat is crazy and she stands up to dogs and people like, I don't know, like a bear. So there we go. Alrighty, well that's everything I have for you. I hope that was somewhat interesting. Huh, maybe? No, probably not. I'm gonna go get back to writing my thesis now. If anybody out there has been a grad student, any advice on how to get through this? Oh my god. Alright, well I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully not be this coming September. Okay, bye. Oh.